Okay, this is the walnut bow I am working on. I cut a tree down when I was still working for Illinois Bell, so that's before 1999. Chuck made a bow out of one of the uh, uh, quarters or whatever it was, third of the tree that I gave him. I think there were two thirds left or something. And I had made one, you guys have seen that many times. This is a new one I'm making, the last uh, piece of the walnut. That's the upper tip. We're looking at the back of the bow. There's the sight window. I'm just uh, still shaping everything and the bottom of the bow. So that's what the back looks like. I'll be narrowing the tips as I go along and working on the handle and the sight window and the fade outs and all that. So here's the belly of the bow right there. You can still see it's got heartwood on it, but I've got to thin it down quite a bit, so most, maybe all of that will be gone, probably. There's the sight window on the handle. And the bottom. I used the same wood on the bottom as I did on the top. <laughs> and there you can see it. I'll try to give you a side view here. So... Here's a side view of the tip, and I'm still in the middle of, I'm leaving this a little wide up here because I may do a real narrow tip and wider and then phase it into flat and, I mean, excuse me, thicker and narrower at the top and wider and thinner as I work my way down to more or less a pyramid bow. So that's the top in my hand, in case you couldn't tell. There's the side. Bottom is similar. That's Maya walking through there. She's got to be uh, got to be in on everything. So here's the bottom edge. Sorry, it's a little shaky. There's the sight window and handle. Still working on that. And there's a close up of the handle area and fade outs in the back. So I've been, uh, I cut it out on a bandsaw on Monday. It took me a long time to cut it out because I only cut off little tiny pieces at a time so I wouldn't uh, gouge the wood out or do it, make any mistakes. So I really took my time and took off, you know, just thin pieces. And it was so thick it was hard to cut with my bandsaw because it was a pretty good size third of a log. Um, then I rasped on it. I used the rasp on Monday and then one other day I did some rasping and today I did some in the morning took a break and did more this afternoon probably spent just today alone four hours rasping on this to shape the sides and you know work more on thinning thinning the bow out so anyway that's where I'm at hope you guys are doing well and everybody's working on their self bowls yuck yuck Take care and stay safe.